With an increased number of businesses and corporates now going global, an MBA in international business has emerged as a popular career choice. Hello and welcome. If you want to get the right kind of education that will help you get international job opportunities or simply help you expand your business globally, then here's all you need to know. An MBA in international business or an MBA IB has become the buzzword among Indian students. With the many global career opportunities that it brings along, an MBA IB is ideal for students who want to accelerate their career in international business or foreign trade. The international business is the sort of you know, buzzword today. Uh, you talk of any business, any industry, etc. With the globalization, it is getting integrated into the international market. And today, even the smallest of small producer, he thinks that there is a competition from outside. He has to safeguard himself. So therefore, everybody is worried about the international market and international scenario, the pricing, etc. With this happening, the international business particularly, this particular subject is becoming very, very important. A typical MBIB in India is offered as a two-year full-time degree program. However, some institutes also offer a post-grad diploma which is equivalent to an MBA. Apart from a regular full-time MBA offered at college or university level, distance learning programs and online MBAs have also become popular among working professionals wanting to pursue higher studies. A distance learning program is different from an online course despite a majority study being conducted via internet. Distance learning students are required to attend an on-campus session, examinations and networking events. These days the technology has allowed you to create virtual classrooms. So therefore the virtual, uh, through the virtual classroom you can reach out to the students. It can be interactive. Previously it was only one way process. It is no longer one way process. It's interactive. So there is virtually no difference. The only difference is the people who are on the campus, they have access to the library and they have access to the faculty whenever they want. For a distant learning student, these facilities are not available. For students looking forward to admissions in a full-time MBIB program, the eligibility criteria is a CAT or related MBA exam score along with a minimum basic qualification of 50% marks in any bachelor's degree. Premier institutes such as Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, offering a specialized degree in international business, conduct their own admission tests. On the other hand, for admissions to an MBIB degree through distance learning mode, candidates need to have a compulsory bachelor's degree and depending upon the institute of choice, a related previous work experience may also be required. A typical MBIB program covers general management subjects such as finance, marketing and human resource during the first year which help in developing a strong business knowledge foundation while during the second year students can pursue specializations in subjects like marketing, finance or supply chain management among others. All of them having a great emphasis on international business perspective. Apart from an MBIB, an MBA in foreign trade is another popular course offered by a couple of institutes in the country. An MBA foreign trade is suitable for students who want to pursue a career in international trade and related activities such as export-import of goods, shipping and logistics, etc. Foreign trade is a discipline of economics thus involving an in-depth study of demand and supply, international money exchange, foreign trade policies among various other topics. And therefore, compared to an MBIB, an MBA in foreign trade allows a candidate an understanding of various aspects related to export-import of goods and other international trade-related activities. International business is a bigger canvas, while international trade is a component of international business. When we talk about international trade, we are talking about movement of goods from country of production to country of consumption. So therefore, we talk about all the facilitating institutions, regulatory bodies, different modes of transport, and the various variety of other actors that get engaged in the system. But when we talk about international business, we, in addition to international trade, also talk about other ways of doing business. From overseas job opportunities to heading business operations in domestic boundaries, 
and MBA in international business will open up numerous career opportunities for students wanting global careers. Our maximum people go in finance, uh, in banking, in insurance. Then comes the IT sector which absorbs quite a lot. Then these days, you know, over the last two days, the trend is e-commerce, you know, and particularly trading. And that is what our skills are there. And these are all international linkages which are important. And therefore, I, I suppose that, you know, almost in all major sectors, starting from auto, pharma, healthcare sector, you know, IT, uh, banking and finance, uh, trading, everywhere our students are there and our sort of highest uh, domestic salary is 24 lakhs plus. With Richa Sujatia, this is Sharon Alex, NDTV. To get the real-time experience of what it is like to study an MBA in international business, well, we are here at IIFT and a couple of students with us who would like to share their experiences. So, uh, you're a first year student. How has it, you know, the entire experience has been so far? from getting into IAFT to getting, you know, once you're inside the college, the kind of competition, the kind of atmosphere, people that you get to study with. What do you have to say about that? Uh, hi, I'm Devya Thakkar. I'm from the, I'm a first year student at IFT New Delhi. So the whole process itself was very exhausting when we had to go through GDs, PIs, a difficult examination. So once you come here, you think it's going to be very easy, but it's not. So you are on a sleep deprived state. You are working a lot. There are a lot of case studies, presentations, and everything keeps you engaged. and. It, the learning curve is just at its peak in the, these three and a half months. Be it the placement season, be it you know, in the class discussions, everything is a learning experience over here. So that is what the crux of MBA over here is, here is to just expand your horizons and venture into different kind of zones. Why did you choose to study an international business program? Why not any other specializations, be it finance, marketing, HR, why not anything else? Hi, I'm uh, Vishal Anand from the first year. I come from a shipping background. I have about four years' experience working for the world's largest shipping company. So uh, I wanted to move up the value chain. Shipping is one of the elements of trade. Uh, whereas I wanted to go a little higher and try to go into an area where I get to choose and make that demand or creation of this demand. Uh, when I was trying to find out the different courses uh, to actually fulfill this particular objective of mine, there were some that were outside, there were some uh, that were in Asia, and IIFT was the one that is in India. The, the kind of specialization that it provides uh, with uh, this option of uh, taking a lot of trade electives is something very unique to IIFT and is not, not offered anywhere in India. So that was the reason why I decided to actually cho choose uh, this specialization. What do you think is you know, the basic reason behind international business being such a popular uh, career choice, you know, specialization among students? What do you think? Hi, I'm Meenal Banga and I'm a second year student here. I think in this era of globalization and uh, internationalization, it's not just a want of a student to go for uh, international studies, it's a need. I think it's become a need. And uh, since we are studying everything here from not only a national but an international perspective as well, I think it's a, it's a very high value add-on to us and that's why I think we seek this sort of an international education. What is so special about international business? I mean, how, what makes it different from other uh, specializations? And also, if you can talk about uh, the job market, how ready do you think is the Indian job market today for an MBA in international business graduate? I think the international business perspective gives you the whole idea about how the world operates in, in the business uh, domain. The, the job market is very open to international business students because they know that we've had experience with the, a lot of case studies in international business and we've done a lot of coursework on this subject. So they're very open to international business students as a whole. So what are the kind of internships or research projects, you know, practical exposure that a student can look forward to when they get into this course? Uh, I'm Devi Crowell from second year. Uh, specifically, if you look at the IFT, uh, the kind of summer internship opportunities that you will get are WTO, uh, Dabur International, OECD. What about the placements? I mean, which are the top recruiters and overseas placements? What are the kind of job opportunities? Hello, I'm Meghna Datta. I'm from the second year. Um, when you look at the job market, um, we do extremely well, especially because we are a niche college. We get the top beef, uh, big four trade companies uh, worldwide, Exam Cargill or Louis Dreyfus. And apart from trade companies, we also have other specializations. Uh, uh, companies which deal in other domains like marketing, finance, banking, ranging from pharmaceutical to energy to automotive. 
other than you know doing an MBA from top Indian B schools, when it comes to international trade or international business, what are the other overseas uh, you know sort of institutes that come to your mind? The top destinations outside India. To name a few, University of Southern California. Uh, you know, uh, Berkeley offers an MBA in international business, so does New York University. So these are the top names that come to my mind for uh, colleges that actually provide a degree in international business. Right. Thank you so much all of you for being here for the chat. Hi, I'm Sirat Chaudhary and I lead Cargill in India. Cargill is an international provider of food and nutrition around the globe. We are engaged in agriculture, food, uh, and industrial services uh, operating out of more over 60 countries in the world. Uh, I had my early education in Lucknow, passing out uh, from Lamartnia College, uh, Lucknow, and after that I joined Sri Ram College of Commerce for my BCom Honours. And after doing BCom Honours, there's always uh, this uh, drive or desire to be an MBA or do a CA. I had made my choice about doing an MBA, but before doing that, I actually got a job on the campus after my undergraduation, and uh, I started working. And uh, while I was working, I got the call from Indian Institute of Foreign Trade uh, for an MBA, or the, as at that time it was called the Master's Program in International Business. Uh, this was the first batch, so it was a new course, uh, it was a new stream. Uh, so there was a bit of thinking to do to say that whether one was you know giving up a job and going into pursue a course which uh, had no one had really heard about no one had done before you so yes it was a risk a course in international business I think at that time was uh, something which turned out to be very useful uh, the reason is that India was just opening up as an economy we were looking at the world outside and uh, learning to do uh, or conduct business across borders, just the procedures, the documentation, the ma finding the customers, building the relationships, all that was taught at IFT actually turned out to be very relevant in the years to come. Boundaries between geographies and businesses, whether they are local or international, have come down considerably since the time that I did my MBA. I think today, most business is being transacted across the globe. Economies are interconnected. Currencies and their fluctuations play a significant role in business profitability. So understanding all those concepts, understanding how the global markets have become interconnected uh, is critical to building a successful business today. The opportunities are uh, as good if not better than the opportunities that exist for MBAs from good institutes uh, anywhere in the country. I think uh, an MBA in international business just makes the world your opportunity and uh, there is uh, a better understanding after undergoing an international business MBA of uh, the global environment. We will need to have a few more success stories in the space to attract more women candidates and uh, managers and students uh, actually to start up uh, taking up this course and uh, you know then finding employment and doing well in the international business space uh, for them to become inspiration for other women. MBA students coming out of institutions offering international business courses should look for uh, internship in companies which are uh, dealing in international business. I would say some of the large commodity companies or some of the companies which have customers outside uh, would be a good place to start. I think. Uh, purely from the content of the training, understanding the documentation, understanding customer contact uh, issues are some of the things which would do, well, do good to uh, the students undertaking this uh, course. Well, that's all we have for on today's show. Catch up with us once again tomorrow as we explore another brand new career option.